G'day guys, welcome back. This is number three for my placemat paws, my ring paws, in my series of eight that I'm doing. So I'm not going to go through every single time with my pouring medium and my ratios, etc, etc. You can watch the second one, the purple one. It will tell you all about what I'm doing. So, a little bit of black in the bottom of each cup to start with. And I'm using the two cups rather than one bigger jug, just so it helps prevent um, the colours from muddying as much, I found. So half of my green next. These are turquoisey colours. So I've done a red, I've done a purple. This one is teal. So I'm using deep sea, which is this one here, sort of a bluey green colour, and then a really pale bluey green, which is Bora Bora by Global, and then the black and the white. So, yeah, mixing them on a ratio of one to one, one part pouring medium to one part paint. Now that does depend on what brand of paint you're using. If you're using a paint that's thicker, like Liquitex Basics is, sort of a little bit of white in, not much, um, you will need to make your mix thinner, so you might want to do two parts pouring medium to one part of Liquitex Basics because it is so much thicker. Now I don't want the black against the, the white, so I'm going to go with the light green again. Finish that off. don't want grey. I found that any light colour, like this light green and the grey kind of make a bit of a, sorry, the light green and the black kind of make a little bit of a greyish, muddish, muddy look anyway. So I try to keep the black away from the white. Uh, and then I'll go with the, the black. And I want to keep a little bit of black for my corners. I'll finish off the rest of this dark green, lovely colour. Deep sea green it is. I'll pop that in there. So yes, consistencies. Uh, Liquitex Basics paints are a lot thicker than the, the global paints that I use. I always have to thin them down more. So if you're using global, probably two to one. Uh, if you're using something that's maybe a little bit thinner like Americana or Deco Art, uh, then you may want to make your paints thicker. Okay, I'm not going to use all that white because I do find it sort of goes a little bit greyish. Right, now some black on my corners. I like the black contrasting corners. I will do that. I did that on my purple one as well. So my corners will either have black or white depending on what colour I'm using. My red one I sort of, because they were dark colours, red and black, I made a feature of the white and had white corners on that one. So I may have black or white corners, which is fine. They'll all match once they're done. There we go. Now, tiny little bit of black left, but that's okay. Um, actually, I probably will just pour it over onto the white just to touch. I'll make sure I've got enough paint. It's going to come out first anyway, the, this black. So I'll be able to just tip it off if I don't like it, if it's a bit grey, but it'll just give me some paint to move around the canvas. Well, not a canvas, is it? It's just my cardboard, my thick card. And as I said, it's all the details are in the purple uh, placemat paw. Uh, if you want to know where I get these from, if you want the link, you can join the Australian Acrylic Pouring Group. I've put them up a few times. The link and I've also added the link to Amazon if you're not in Australia so the type of card so just join the Australian Critic Pouring Group and do a search and I'm sure you'll be able to find it so little circles close to the card if you go too high up they're kind of a bit wobbly so I find I go a little bit closer and they're not as wobbly they're more of a fold on top of each other Bring this around a little bit so I don't get that big black section. Let's 
starting to look a little bit muddy, isn't it? This is what I was trying to get away from by doing the two cups. And just catch your drip if you can. Now I'm going to go again in the same spot, so I'm going to pinch this cup as well. I'm kind of a bit off centre there, aren't I? Come back a bit, paint. Back into the centre again for the next one. It's a bit wobbly there. It takes me a while to be able to get down low enough to go slower to have more of a circle and more of that folding look that I'm after. Again, a lot of black there. I'm just going to turn around a bit so that I can get some colour on the other side. And back around this way again. There's no right or wrong on how to pull. Just do it however you like. If you notice you're getting a lot of plain colour on one side, you can move your cup around try and balance it out a little bit and then try and catch the tail so that you don't leave a, a streak across. Okay, well those are pretty colours. Now I'm going to torch it just a touch to pop any air bubbles. And because I've got Floetrol in my mix I will get some little cells popping up and I probably should leave the paint to sit for an hour or so after I've mixed it just to let it settle because after I'd mixed it all up with the pouring medium I could see that there was bubbles in there but I'm in a bit of a hurry well not in a hurry but I just wanted to get it done I don't want to go and wait for an hour while I wait for bubbles to settle so I'm just going to go round and round just once while I've got the momentum of the paint happening and just go round all the way just once to cover as much of the card as possible while we've got that momentum of the paint happening. Now the weight of the paint's here, so let's go straight off there. But I don't want to go all the way off. I want to leave a little bit of black on my corner. So I'm just going to do that for now and then come back. I can always go back again afterwards. I just want to see how much paint I've got here. So the weight of the paint's here at the moment, so let's go round, keep, the go keep it going, keep the momentum of the paint going to there, and stop. Okay, wow, well, I'm liking these colours. Woohoo! Now I'm just going to bring the weight of the paint back to the middle. Now, I don't know if this is the right way to do it or the wrong way. It's just it's just what I do. You know, you could go down one way first and then do a corner. No right or wrong way. You're going to get different effects depending on which way you go. So I'm going to go straight down first and then I'll go to the corners. I'm liking these colours. I did do one before. You can probably see my mess on the puppy piddle pad here. It, it was too pale. I had too much of this pale green and it really took over. So I did another one. So I want my placemats to be pretty. I want to be happy with them. I want to leave that black stripe there for now. Anyway, this here, this dark ring, I like that. Okay, so now off to the other corner. Try not to lose my black ring. Might have to. I'd have too much paint on here. But as I said, I have really cut back on the amount of paint that I'm using and I'm, I am getting a better effect because I'm able to stretch more to cover my card. So I'm going to go right up to that corner and stop. Just leave a little bit of black there. back 
All right, so I've got a lot of black here. So I need to move that down. So I may even lose all of that. So your outside paint is going to be from your first cup. And then your middle here is from the second cup. But you still need that amount of paint. There's no point saying, oh, well, I'm going to waste one whole cup. I'll just only use one cup. You still need to have that paint on there to move it around. I like this. I might just get rid of some of that on that corner, actually. This is quite a thick band of green there. I'll just see what that looks like if I can move some of that off. Go right off that corner and up to the black because I want the black corner. Okay, and back. As I said, you don't have to centre your this section here. It doesn't have to be in the middle and they don't have to be identical. I prefer them to be a little bit different, a little bit more unique, a bit more interesting if they're not exactly the same on both sides. That's my thought anyway. Now let's bring this down towards you and just try and stretch this green out just a touch, bring that black into the middle. I'll have a look at that, see how that's looking. I think that's nice. And I'm going to just clean up the little metal rack here, my cookie cooling rack underneath, move the paint off so you can see where the card finishes. And then I can see if there's anything else I need to do. If it's looking a bit too black, it's quite dark in that corner. But I'm not saying that's a bad thing. Okay, what do I want to do? I think I might just, how this curves here, I'll just get that off just a touch. I'll still leave this, but just get that little bit off there and take this black into that corner. So I move the weight of the paint down a bit and then to that corner. Hopefully that's the right decision. <laughs> no right or wrong way, as I said. Just do whatever you think is going to look nice. So I'm just going to get that little bit of a green off the corner there. Take my black down to the corner and back. Move the weight of the paint back again, open up those rings. Actually now that, I've, now that I've done that I can actually see why I did that, not knowing why. I just felt that I had to do that. Can you see now what it's done? I've got this band here with the black corner and it matches this band up here with the black corner and then my pull goes down the middle that way. It's funny how things work out, hey? You're not looking for symmetrical but maybe subconsciously you are and you think it just doesn't work. It just needs to be a little bit more symmetrical. Even though I wasn't going for symmetrical, I do think that that's prettier now. Just touch up this black corner. It had a tiny little bit of green still left on it. Now, the only other thing I need to do is maybe move this down a bit. Okay. I think that's enough. I, I don't want to do any more to it. moved it down and then I realised there was just too much green down here. It was too, a bit much. All right, I'm going to leave it like that. I'm happy with that. I'll just touch up this bit of black here. Mm, perfect. Wow, I love that. Really happy with that one. I will show you the one I did before this and you can see what I mean about the light green taking over. It was just too much. 
So I've cut down on the light green this time and added a little bit more of the darker teal instead. So I've still got the same amount of paint, still using my 400 grams of mixed paint, but just had slightly less of the light and more of the dark. I think it's because of the white. The white also really lightens it. And you can't really see a lot of that dark green. There's a tiny bit up here. And then we've got this ring around here of the dark. And then there's a little bit of it right there. So there's not a lot of it. But um, it's, quite, it's quite a lot of black, which I really like. I like that black in it. Okay, so I'll show you the one I did before. This one, which I will bin. Look at that. See the light green really took over? You can really see the definite rings in that one. So there you go. I'm sort of having to do two of each of these because I'm trying new colours, new techniques. So I've done two purple ones, two green ones. I did the trial of the two red and gold before I did my red and white. All right, a bit of a torch again. Popping any bubbles. I don't mind these little cells popping up. Uh, as I said in my previous fall when I did the, the purples, I've got little bubbles as well and they all match. It's kind of like little planets in the galaxy, aren't they? So yeah, they're all going to be matching. They're all going to have the nice wide thick rings and the, the nice dark black against them. So I think that's really pretty. I love the way that white pops and it hasn't gone to grey. Not too much to grey and me doing two cups I think has really helped. Right, let's see if I can open that up a little bit for you. Okay, there you go. What do you think of that? I really like that one. Happy with it. It's a keeper. Now, I've done two purples today and two of these. I'm going to go and have a coffee, sit down with my dogs, watch a little bit of YouTube, <laughs> as I do. I like watching other artists as well. We all get inspiration from each other. And um, I will be back with you. What colour will I do next? Hmm, I've got greens to do, pinks. Oh, I've got to do yellow, turquoise. If you think of a colour scheme you want me to add into my set of eight, let me know. All right, I'll see you for the next one. Bye for now.